Hi, my name is Emily Robison. I am a sophomore at the U of A studying elementary education in hopes of teaching second grade. When Crystal Bridges first opened, I went with my family and I thought the building itself was really cool but didn't have the same appreciation for the paintings. I did see Andy Warhol's Dolly Parton painting though and it interests me immediately. Andy Warhol was an American artist and was a primary figure in the visual art movement coined as pop art. Pop art is an art movement that came about in the late 1950s in the U.S. It includes imagery from popular culture like advertising and news. One of Warhol's most famous paintings is 32 Campbell Soup Cans, made in 1962. Warhol became a renowned and at times controversial artist. Andy Warhol now has the largest museum in the U.S. dedicated to a single artist. The museum's name is Andy Warhol Museum in his hometown of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This painting is of, of, of a famous country singer, Dolly Parton. She is known as the Queen of Country Music. It was purchased by Alice Walton on May 14, 2010 for $914,500. This painting had some controversy around it. Horst Weber was an artist who produced thousands of Warhol images from stock photos that Warhol, Warhol sold as his own. He told the New York Post there is a very good chance that Warhol had never actually laid eyes on it. Coincidentally, the painting was never signed. The painting has a lot of vibrant colors like red and purple along with her bleach blonde hair. I would say the methodology associated with this painting is psychoanalysis, which deals with iconographic methods and cultural context. Andy Warhol was famous for taking pictures of everyday sightings and making them a pop art painting. I chose this painting because becoming because being a fan of Dolly Parton made me want to do some more research about it, and I turned out to find some interesting controversies, as well as being housed in a museum right down the road from where I live.